Hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros. Now I'm making this video for my computer organization class, CDA 3100, on how to convert the fractional portion of a decimal number to binary. We've already covered how to convert the whole number portion of it, so we're going to concentrate on the fraction portion this time. Um, now recall that in the uh, whole number, each bit position had a value. Uh, the first position was 2 to the 0, the second was 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, and so forth. To the right of the decimal place, and we'll put the decimal place right there, the first position is worth 2 to the minus 1, 1 half, or 0.5. The next one is worth 2 to the minus 2, 1 quarter, or 0.25. The third, 2 to the minus third, 1 eighth, or 0.125, and it just keeps going on out. And to convert a number, what we do is we multiply instead of divide. Recall that in the whole number we divide the number by 2 and get the remainder. Well here what we're going to do is we're going to multiply. So let's start off, I'll give you an example. And it's not a trivial example, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty good little example. 6265625. Alright, now we want to convert that to binary. What do we do? Well we multiply by 2. Okay, multiply by 2 this turns out to be 1.3125. This becomes our leftmost bit. Okay, our leftmost bit, remember that. Okay, now we're going to take this number and we're going to multiply it by 2. Okay, that turns out to be 0 0.625. This is the next bit. Okay, we're going to multiply that number by 2, and that is going to be 1.25. That's our next bit. We're going to multiply this number times 2. It turns out to be 0 0.5. There's a 0 right here. That's our next bit in line. And then finally, we're going to multiply this times 2, and that turns out to be 1.0. We stop whenever everything to the right of the decimal place is all zeros or we've reached the limit of our precision. In other words, the maximum number of bits that we can actually store. So this becomes our number. We're just going to translate it down here. We're going to say it's now 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And that is our, our number in binary. Let's check that, okay? This position right here we know is worth 0.5. This one's worth 0.25, but there's not a 1 in it. This is worth 1.25. This one's worth 0 0.60625. There's no 1 in it. And then finally, this one is worth 0 0.03125. 03125. And we add all those together. And what do we come up? You can check it yourself. We come up with 065625. All right, and that is how you convert a decimal fraction into binary. Hope you enjoyed this, and uh, we look forward to doing another one for you.